Hi, I'm Bob Birch, Web Technology Specialist with North Dakota State University Agriculture Communication, and I'm going to show you a little bit about doing some simple editing in the FlipShare software when using a Flip camera. This is part of our pocket video project, and for the project we're using Flip Ultra HD video cameras, and I've shot some video of a flash flood that we had recently uh, in West Fargo, North Dakota, and I've shot it with my Flip Ultra HD, and then I've taken the the files from the camcorder. Here are all the files that were on the camcorder and I've taken them and saved them to my computer uh, creating a little folder here called Flash Flood June 17th 2010. So as I click on that and take a look at the items inside of that folder uh, you'll see I've got nine videos here uh, and I could take any of these videos at this point and go ahead and share it, email it to someone, add it to a flip channel, uh, upload it to YouTube, but I want to do a little bit of editing and get uh, some clips together that I can then use uh, to create a movie in Flipshare and I'll be doing that uh, in the next tutorial. But let's just talk about how to edit at this point. So here is one of the clips that I shot uh, in Flipshare and if I go ahead and play this now you'll see that that uh, is a pretty good clip demonstrating uh, how much water is there in the street. But what I want to especially focus on is this uh, vehicle that goes by that really shows the depth of the water. And I want to get rid of some of the extraneous stuff that uh, happens in this clip. So in order to do that I can do some simple trimming of the video here. And uh, to do that I just click on this little scissors right here. It says trim video. And that's going to give me this pop-up window that allows me then to set an in point and an out point uh, for my clip. So as I watch this here, as I said, I want to focus on the vehicle because that really shows the depth of the water. So at this point where my son Alex turns around, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video right here. And I'm going to set this as my start point. And to do that, I just go ahead and drag this marker up to the point where I pause the video and that becomes the end point or the start point for the video clip that I'm creating. And now if I go ahead and play this forward a little bit and we wait for the vehicle to go by there's a point here where the camera comes back to Alex and at that point I want to actually pause that video just before that. So right there I'm gonna make that my end point. And to make that my end point now that I've got the video paused at that point I just go here to my marker and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it all the way to there. And so at this point I can now save this video. Now be careful here because if I click save at this point what that will actually do is overwrite my original clip. Instead of that being a 37 second clip, you can see the full time right here, it will become basically a 6 second clip because I've cut off uh, much of the start and the end. I just have 6 seconds here that I'm going to use. So instead of clicking save, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click save as. And that way I can save this trimmed video as a new file. And I'm going to go, uh, let's see, red SUV in water. Um, and we'll just do part one here. Okay, and that's my uh, that's a new name for my six second video. And I can choose to put it in a different folder, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it right in that same folder uh, and then click save. So it'll take a second for that to save, just a second is that is all it takes. And now at this point I could go ahead and close this, and you'll see that um, inside this uh, now, instead of just having nine clips, I've got ten clips inside this flash flood folder. Here's my original clip, the 37 second clip. Here is my seven second clip. And because I saved the original, I can come in here and do this again and create yet another clip uh, from this. Go back here a little bit and, and maybe start there as my start point and take some more video of this. There we go. And maybe create five or six seconds more of video and then make that my end point. And if I use the save as again, now I can put a new title here and save that as a distinct clip. So now I've created two clips from the one original. And that's simple editing in Flipshare.